cooling design information. Well, you need to know the total load and BTUs. You need to know the sensible and latent load. And you need to know your design temperatures. And you need to know your humidity designs. Uh, so 37 grains is what we want. We want out, outdoor design temperature at Maria's Restaurant. is 88 degrees Fahrenheit. And for zone one, we know our total load is 71,666. And for zone two, it's 115,534. In this document, we've got our sensible and our latent figured out. And there are 50,185 for sensible for zone one and 96,495 for sensible for zone two. And 21,481 for latent in zone one and 19,039 for cooling zone two latent. For our heating design, we don't worry about the latent and sensible. It's just a straight sensible. And heating zone one is 34,384. And that's for an outdoor design temperature of 44. And we have the same outdoor design temperature, obviously, for the kitchen. And that's 105,820 BTUs. Here's a sketch of zone one, the dining area. And in the sketch, we have a package heat pump unit on a rooftop, and it's bringing about 689 CFM of outside air all the time. The supplier is constantly 2400 CFM. It's exhausting 500 CFM. And the difference between the exhausted air and the air being brought in is about 189 CFM, and that's about 8% of the total air. And that eight, extra 189 CFM is used to pressurize the bar and dining area. And our target is about 0.004 four inches of water column. It's just a small amount positive. Well, zone two sketch, there's a whole lot more going on here, and we've got about a 10-ton unit up there on the rooftop, and it's got about two different settings. It's got 1,900 CFM and uh, 100 CFM for the outside air that's being brought in. It's also got return air settings, two of them. We've got supplier is constant, though. It's 3,200 CFM. Then we've got the exhaust for the dishwasher that's c coming on and off with 600 CFM, and it's got a 600 CFM little makeup unit that goes with it, and they're linked together, so they should have an interlock. Uh, the ERV is depositing air into the kitchen area, so it's putting an extra 500 CFM in that it's bringing outside that's partially treated. Remember, we looked at the percentage of the efficiency, and we'll look at that to see how much that affects the load. And then the uh, the exhaust over the, the main kitchen equipment uh, has a speed setting. It's got 3,450 CFM for when uh, it's, it's in use, full use, and then it drops down when everybody walks away and it's not being used to 1,650 CFM. And uh, it's got an air in of uh, 1,150 CFM at all times. So this system is a little more complicated. It's, it ends up, if you look at all the numbers and add them all up, that it's got a slightly uh, positive amount of air in it. And that's going to give you a, approximately a 0.001 inches of water column, which is positive to the outside, but negative to the dining bar area that's uh, plus a 0.004 inches. So it, it, if, if the air opens up the doors between the, the, the dining area and the kitchen, the air should come into the kitchen area. If you open the door to the outside from the kitchen in the back, then the air should go from the kitchen to the outside. And that's the design that it's set up to be. And those are just simple tests you could do walking through. Sizing for cooling. Indoor design equals 75 and 50% relative humidity. Outdoor design equals 88 degrees and 70 degrees Fahrenheit wet bulb. Entering dry bulb is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Entering wet bulb is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And zone one is fairly straightforward. Sensible equals 50,185. Latent 21,481. HVA system CFM is 2,400 CFM. Fresh air makeup is 689 CFM. Zone two is not quite so straightforward. The sensible load is 96,495. The latent load is 19,039. HVAC system CFM is 3,200. And the makeup required with all the exhaust hoods and everything is 3,550. So some of them have makeup air, if you recall, back to the drawing of their own built in so that the, they're interlocked so they bring in some air when they come on. Well, we got positive building pressure. We're going to just take a look at a drawing of that again. And the air flows out of the kitchen, you know, goes out of there. And the airflow goes out of the dining room. And it goes from the dining room to the kitchen. It goes from the kitchen to the outside. It goes from the dining, dining area to the outside. And, uh, you know, the more mechanical air comes in than the air that's being exhausted. That's how you positively pressurize it. And that's what we're set up, and that's what we're designing and running. And... Uh, 
the, this here it says is 0 0.003 positive inches of water column. And in reality, uh, the, the 189 CFM that we're bringing in, we don't know where it's going to fall. It's going to fall somewhere in there. And we're bringing in more per square foot than we're bringing into the kitchen. So we figure it's going to be a little more positive. And that, that gets field adjusted if you want to do it. But it's really not the critical issue. The critical issue is the pathway that the air goes and that goes that way under all operating conditions.